to screen share. Okay, can you guys see it? Can you give me a thumbs up? Okay. All right, so um, I wanted to do this call tonight about like starting your beach body day off right. And this is going to apply like whether you do your beach body, you know, power hour or work or whatever, if you do it in the morning, afternoon, night, um, whatever it is that you do. Um, these are just some things that you can do to like get yourself into the right mindset. And what made me think about it in the first place was while we were in Orlando, um, I still was getting up early like I always do and kind of doing my routine, checking in and doing my workout, and my PD and all of that. And it was like as soon as I finished my workout and drank my shake, like I said to Mike, I'm like, all right, I'm ready. I'm ready for the day. And it just like clicked in my mind, like everything that I had done is kind of like what gets me going to like have that positive mindset to, to do what I do and helping other people. And, um, I had recently had a conversation with, um, this like accountability group, I guess you could call it, that I'm in with some of the other leaders in the central region. And we were talking about how, uh, you know, when you are a leader, which every single one of you on this call is a leader, the first time that you have somebody click follow or add you as a friend, you become a leader because you're now, you know, showing your journey and paving the way for people. But anyways, when you are a leader, you are constantly pouring yourself out. And, you know, you have coaches messaging you and you have challengers messaging you and you have family messaging you. And so you're constantly pouring out to people. And so it's important that you are taking time and you're being um, intentional about filling yourself up first. So that way, when you are going about your day and you're going about your beach body work, you have something to give. So that's kind of where I was going with this call and what made me think of it in the first place. So I was just being corny on this slide. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can hear the sound or the song all about that mindset, about that mindset. <laughs> I don't know if you got it or if it was just me. But um, so you cannot live a positive life with a negative mindset. So that's going to be your first thing to starting your day. So creating positive vibes. I'm sure we've all seen that, um, you know, picture posted on Facebook that says, I'm in charge of how I feel. And today I choose happiness. And like I see that posted all the time. Um, and we talk a lot about that, you know, that you are the one that's in charge of how you feel today. Even if you wake up and, you know, you don't feel in the mood to do your work or you don't feel in the mood to do your workout or you don't feel like checking into your groups or whatever, like you're the one that makes that decision on are you going to, you know, be a positive influence like you promised to people or are you going to be you know, blah, and posting about being blah on Facebook. Uh, so here's, this is one thing that I always encourage people to do, and it's something that I was taught by my coach, Scotty Hobbs, and it actually took me a long time to start implementing it because I thought it sounded cheesy, um, and it's probably going to still sound cheesy when I tell you about it, but um, positive affirmations. Um, Basically, positive affirmations are things that you are speaking into your life. Or some people will say into the universe, things that you are just kind of projecting and like stating that this is, you know, your day or this is who you are. And so 
what I was originally taught was to pick three things that I want to be or that I want people to know me as. And so I just wrote down some um, examples. Um, so the top three are actually the three that I originally chose when I was taught this exercise. So um, I am bold, I am ambitious, I am inspiring. And so once you choose your three things, I want you to speak them to yourself in front of a mirror. And this that's the part that sounds kind of wacky, like, you know, crazy people type thing. But the reason that it works is because if you do that and you look yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself that you are a top recruiter or that you are an SC all-star or that you are, you know, a top leader or whatever it is that you want to be, if you start your day by telling yourself that, your actions are going to follow through. So, for example, you know, if I start my day by telling myself that I'm ambitious, then like later on in the day, if something, you know, some kind of event happens that would require me to be ambitious, my natural instinct, since I'm a shy person, is going to be to like back away or to, you know, not go for something that would require me to be ambitious. But because I told myself that that is who I am, I will you know, more likely to go for it and just to, to do it. Um, I wish, I wish I would have thought of it before, but if you guys have seen Cool Runnings, um, there's that part where, um, the big guy is telling Junior, he's like, he's like, what does he say? I'm a badass mother. I'm a badass mother that don't take no crap from nobody. I see power. <laughs> I see power. So that was at the part where he's like, you know, nervous because his dad wants him to quit the bobsledding team and go back home and be a lawyer or whatever. And, um, you know, he's like talking himself up and like pumping himself up, kind of like, you know, a boxer does before they go out into the ring. They're like jumping around and, you know, jiving themselves up to, you know, before they go in for their match. And that's kind of how I think of my, my day. Like I want to pump myself up full of positive things, full of, full of motivation. And that gets me going. So, um, one of the other things I do after my crazy people uh, positive affirmations that still make me like chuckle sometimes as I'm doing it and Mike too he's always thinks I'm crazy but I also listen to um, like motivational stuff on YouTube and this is not personal development I mean it is personal development and you're gonna get a lot of personal development out of it but this is not like what I count as my PD for the day but this is stuff that I'm filling my tank with, um, you know, before I get going, before I start responding to messages and things like that. And like when I, when I first started the call and I told you that, you know, as a leader, you're constantly pouring out and you need to have a way to fill yourself up. This is a great way. And I actually, these are screenshots of um, videos from my history on YouTube. So if you go into you know your YouTube page and click on history, it'll show you like the last videos that you have viewed. And so these are the ones that I that I have been watching and listening to. And I listen to them, you know, like if if I'm at home, I'm getting Mikey ready for school, or if I'm um, getting, you know, just getting ready or you know, making breakfast, making coffee or whatever, you see these videos, they're three minutes, one minute and 47 seconds. I mean, they're very short, so it's really easy to fit in, um, you know, and especially if you already have it, if, you know, you subscribe to some of these, um, as soon as you wake up and you're just kind of doing your normal thing that you do when you wake up, you're brushing your teeth, you're getting dressed, whatever, you can listen to this. It's three minutes, and um, it's just a great way to shift yourself into a positive mindset, and I get so many of my my like takeaways from these videos and they're just 
a great way to have something positive to start off your Instagram or Facebook that day. A great, I get so many ideas for positive quotes in these videos. So um, that's one thing that, that I do, and I think it's a game changer for, for my days. And I can tell a difference when I don't spend the time listening to something like this. And P.S., another cool thing about doing this is if you have a spouse or kids, um, you know, that aren't necessarily going to, you know, break open a John Maxwell book, this is a great way to kind of plant a little bit of these seeds in their mind without them knowing. So you're listening to it and they're hearing it, even though they may not admit it that they're listening, they can't help but to hear it. So, you know, if you're in the kitchen getting lunches ready, just put it on and it's going to get into their mind just like it's going into yours. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I've learned so much this week from what I heard. Yeah. You should take me on trips more often. Okay, so where are your goals? Normally, I'm asking you what are your goals, but where are your goals? If they're just in your mind, then I can pretty much guarantee you that you're not thinking about them, you're not seeing them, so you're not being reminded on a constant basis. You guys know my story about having my Success Club 10 goal, having it on my phone as my my um, phone wallpaper and everything. I saw it every single day. Like how many times a day do you pick up your phone? So I saw it and it was a constant reminder and it was something that made me not give up on my SC10 goal. There were months where I'm like, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. You know, I was stuck at two points or four points. And even if I got to six, I got that relief, like, oh, phew, I got Success Club. But that wasn't enough because every time I saw that on my phone, it was a reminder that, nope, that's not your goal. You said SC10 All-Star, so keep on inviting. So my point is that you have to have your goals somewhere that you're going to see them all the time so that you know what you're working for and it's just harder to give up on yourself. Um, we are our best, you know, there's so many other goals from other people that it's easier to like push other people and to keep them on track for their goals. But then when it comes to ourself, our own goals, our own like dreams or desires, for some reason, it's natural instinct to always put them on the back burner. So but they're not on the back burner if you're constantly seeing them and they're up close, they're in your face, and it's just there. Okay, if you want to be taken seriously, then be consistent. Consistent action brings consistent results. Um, there was a post by Stella, and I, don't, I know several of you are in my Road to Success um, push group that we're doing right now with. Shiva and Stella made a post yesterday or the day before and it was somebody that reached out to her and said that they have kind of been you know stalking her for a while but it was because of her consistently posting about her journey that they were finally built up the courage to reach out and ask for help so a lot of times when we're doing our routine we're making our posts and we're getting crickets you want to give up and you want to say, this isn't working. I'm not getting anybody. Nobody cares. I posted my workout every day. Nobody cares. And trust me, I feel that way more than you know about lots of things. Even like on the, the post that Mike made in the main coaching group today, he said, um, he asked me, he's like, you have spent so much time on this call. Why, you know, why are you doing it? And I'm like, I, it's just because it's consistency. We have a call every week. I'm creating content. I don't care if we have one coach on the call or if we have 50. Well, yes, I do care, but it doesn't change. It doesn't change the fact that I'm going to do it and I'm going to show up and I'm going to, you know, present this content that I feel has, you know, helped me in my journey. So that's something, you know, for you to, I don't know if it take comfort or whatever, that 
even as far as even where I am in my business and my journey with this business and my fitness journey and everything else, it's still something I struggle with. But I just know that it works. I just know that consistency every time is going to deliver um, is going to deliver you the, the results. And that's the only way that's the key to success. Okay, so you need a plan. You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. John Maxwell. Um, I love John Maxwell. I actually have been wanting to go back and uh, read the 15 Invaluable Laws of Growth. Um, but anyways, so it's not going to work if you just wake up and you're like, oh, okay, Jen told me to listen to motivational YouTubes all day, so I'm going to listen to that, and then I'm going to, you know, talk, talk to myself in the mirror. Like, those are definitely things you need to do, but you need to have an actual plan of what you're going to do. You know, these are the things that you're doing to gear up to work, you know, to do your Beachbody Power Hour. But then once you're actually going to sit down and say, all right, I'm doing my, this is my business time, these are my business hours, you need to have a plan so that you stay focused, you stay on task, and you get your, your job done. So create a to-do list, and here's the key. You've got to stick to it. I know that we have shared so many different to-do lists and checklists and business activity trackers and, you know, whatever you want to call it. There's a million of them out there, different versions, and just whatever works for you. You have to just commit to one of them and actually do it and track your activity and track your results. And I know sometimes it's easier said than done because you might use it for a week and you're like, oh, I had a great week. I followed my to-do list every day. And then the next week you, you fall out. And until you kind of create that habit, it's always going to be, it's always going to be awkward, just like anything else. Any other time that you create some kind of a new habit, it's going to, you know, you're going to be in a fight against yourself to to stick to it. But if you just do, I think they say 21 days to make a habit. So, you know, if you can just stick to it, I think you'll start to get into that routine and you'll start to, you know, be hungry for that routine. So here is a couple of um, to-do lists. This top one is one um, that Lindsay Matway created, and this is for steady business growth. And so that's her list that she gives to her team. Um, and then the one underneath is one from Scotty Hobbs and that's just his daily to-do list, um, you know, for your business hours, your power hour, whatever. So there's also lots of other ones that are in the group. So if you need help finding one that fits, um, you can do a search in our group or just reach out, reach out to your coach and, uh, you know, we'll get you set up with a list that you can follow each day. Okay, so action steps. And this top one is one that Mike made me do yesterday on the airplane. And, um, no, oh, okay, I'll show you in a second. Um, is I wrote down, do a written mind dump. Get everything off of your mind and onto paper. And I can tell you that, you know, to be your best self and to, you know, Go down, you know, go to your work with a clear mind and a attitude that's ready to take on things. You can't have the stress of all this stuff in your mind, ideas, people you need to follow up with, people that you met and never sent them that email, um, ideas for a new challenge group, ideas for, you know, a new hybrid workout that you want to do. And, oh, I want to do this YouTube video. Like we have all these things floating in our mind. And that makes it so that when you are talking to people, when you're inviting people, when you're talking to your personally sponsored coaches, you're not a hundred percent there because you have all this stuff floating around all the time. And I am, so ridiculously guilty of that because I struggle with writing things down and following a list and having a routine. And so that's why I'm actually doing this call because these are all things that I personally need to work on myself. 
So um, I'm going to show you guys my my piece of paper that I came up with as soon as I'm done with the screen share. But um, so that's going to be your first step. The second one, choose a to do list and stick with it. Step three, add one small step towards your projects to your daily list. So once you do like your mind dump, you're going to see like some projects or whatever that you have been wanting to do, like maybe give your blog a facelift or maybe it's, you know, create a coach basics for your team or whatever. Choose something that you can do each day towards that and add that onto your regular daily to-do list. Choose your three daily affirmations to start your day with and speak them over yourself in front of a mirror each day as you start your day. And listen to motivational PD before starting your beach body work. Okay. So those are just my steps on, you know, how to just start your day off right and set yourself up for success. Um, let's see. I sent you a video if you want to screen share it. Oh, okay. So this was my list of all the crap that had been going on in my mind. So that's not even like a to-do list of, you know, invite three people and drink Shakeology. This is just like ideas things I had, you know, just all kinds of craziness. So um, just getting it out on paper, it just gives you such a release and you're like, okay, now I see where I need to focus and um, you can start like scheduling some time to, to work on some of your projects and stuff like that. Um, okay, I'm gonna go back to screen share for a second. All that, yeah, man, but it's not about what I see, it's about what you see. And look in this mirror and tell me again what you see. <clears throat> what I see, pride, pride, right. power, power. I see a badass mother who oh, don't take no off of nobody again. I see pride, can I hear you? I see power. I see a badass mother who won't take no crap out of nobody. Once again, I see pride. Junior, I see power. I see a badass mother who won't take no crap out of nobody. That's very right, Junior Bevel. He wasn't until he believed in himself. <laughs> so, you know, it wasn't until he got that belief, that fire in himself, that he's like, all right, I'm ready. I'm going to do this. I'm going to oh, take action. All these here. <laughs> oh. Ah, hold on. What are you doing? I don't know. Glad you can make it mine. Oh my gosh. Stop it. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I hope that that was helpful to you guys and that you see where I was going with what what I do. And I hope that helps you. Um, it definitely helps me to just because. It's something I was recently struggling with, and I actually talked to my corporate rep about it, and that's when we were talking about the, you know, the leadership thing on how you give and give and give, and you have to fill yourself back up in order to give back again. So these are great ways that I've been able to, you know, to do that, and I hope that that helps you guys. So... Any other thoughts or ideas on what you do? No? 
Nicole. <laughs> challenge everyone to do that first thing in the morning well i think it would it would be great if you did the positive affirmations and maybe you don't have to make a video but i think it would be cool if you made a video um but at least um as your call to action for our call tonight if you would you know, write your three affirmations and find one cool motivational video like the ones that I showed you and um, just share that in the team page. Uh, so that way we can get ideas from each other and um, start watching some cool things and that would be great. Oh, um, oh, oh, go ahead. Oh, oh I was going to say, Jen, um, I about the positive affirmations. It's really interesting because I've been doing a 21 day fix group every month since it came out in February of 2014. Sometimes I run two a month. And one of the, during one of the things that I have them do during the week challenge for points is I will post a positive affirmation quote in there saying, I am worthy. Um, I am strong, I can, and I have them say that out loud in a mirror, and I have them do it three times a day. And it's really interesting, and I just wanted to share that with you other coaches, because as for us, it helps us, but it's really great. I have gotten so many um so much positive back from people still that talk about that that task that I've given him. And it's so difficult for women, and I'm sure for men, but mainly I hear from women how difficult it is to actually look ourselves, look at ourselves and, and give that positive affirmation, but how much better they feel and how they start to believe in it. So um, I... I'm a huge believer in, in positive affirmation, but I just wanted to share that um, for you coaches that it's great to pass that along to your challengers um, because it's, it's amazing that it, it can help them also in that way. So I just wanted to share that. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Do you have it as, do you have like the assignment that you use? Can you post that in the team page? Just Oh, I think I lost you. What did you say? I said if you have that as like an assignment that you put in your challenge group, if you could share that in our team page just so, you know, in case anyone else wants to use it. Yeah, I definitely will because I just, we just did it um, last week. So I will do that. Cool. Thank you. You can share the hour long one you were playing. Yeah. Um, all right, so our call next week is going to be, um, oh, had a really good name, I forgot it, but it'll be posted tomorrow, but basically it's going to be um, like best um, smart steps to success uh, for starting your business, so, and it's going to include some tips from some of our other top fit uh, family coaches, and it's just going to be some tips that we all use and give to our teams um, as we're getting new coaches started. So whether you're a new coach or you're a recommitting coach or wherever you are in your business, um, it'll be a great one for you to plug in. So I look forward to talking to you guys next week. And don't forget to post your calls to action. Bye. See ya. Bye.